these top three, I'm going to say this, have even changed this week, but then I just changed it back and was like, no, I'm just going to leave it. I did uh, several times this week, move it to number one. I was imp- I mean, I never heard a song <laughs> directly when I was playing the game. I might have heard it, but when you showed it the first time, it was the first one you actually put down as I, you did it. We did it twice. I'm like, really beautiful. Yeah. Again, that's why I'm like, when it you just give me the top beautiful. 10 list, I'm like, okay. I, I'm still sitting here going, I should have put that number one. Nah, it's okay. It is time once again for the main story quest. Where the Trinity Bros give you their MMO opinion. All right. Only one opinion. This is the culmination of the last 11 weeks. Okay. Or more, actually. We started this, you know, before that, too. Uh, this is the top 11, now 11, top 11 MMO, MMO songs as rated by Sir Jaziel. You can argue with him and tell him he's wrong. Okay. Or you can praise him saying, wow, dude, you got it right. Okay. So now comes the actual order. You heard them all. You heard them all, okay, from BDO to EverQuest to WoW to Lineage to Star Wars, Lord of the Line, Elder Scrolls, Guild Wars 2, Final Fantasy, New World, WoW, Star, all those things, okay? Now comes the actual order. So, I'm going to hand it over to Jaziel, and he can tell me when to play the song as he counts down from 11, I guess, right? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess we could go backwards. Yeah, that's fine. I thought you were going to do that. Count down 11 to 1, right? Yeah. And this okay. that you've got, this is copy and pasted from what I sent you last week. Yeah. Okay. So um, last week, I just want to let everybody know, thank you for the prayers and everything support. Uh, I, I was going to try to get on the show. And uh, those of you who were on prior to that on my stream, you know, I was having some uh, severe pain issues with my spine and it just... Uh, I was way too uncomfortable to be on last week. So I apologize for that. But uh, getting to it, um, the surprise was that I was waiting for someone, one of you lads or lasses out there to recognize I had I, I talked so much about Final Fantasy XIV's music and we went through 10 tracks and no mention of a Final Fantasy XIV song. And I thought, Yoshi or King Amos or CEO or one of y'all that come in here every week were going to like say something and no one said anything. I was very surprised. <laughs> and so the surprise was um, I, you know, was going to come on and announce that. But uh, luckily, um, the, these two lads went ahead and did the show and announced that, you know, we did have a Final Fantasy 14 song added to the list. And uh, when we get to that, I will make my other, well, not much of a surprise, but uh, you guys will hear it when we get there. So there's 11 songs. Uh, we, you know, Part of me was like, well, maybe I should throw the 11th one out, but I just can't. Uh, the 11th one is EverQuest uh, Kelthin theme from the Zone Kelthin, um, which has the, uh, the Wood Elves where they live for those of you and the reason i can't throw that out is because that's man that's the original that's the original game mmo uh, as far as like 3d experience i did play meridian 59 before that and a couple of other muds um but as far as like blockbuster grandfather of all the mmos we play today everquest is one of them and i spent a lot of time over there uh, in that neck of the woods, quite literally. Uh, for those of you who played the game, you'll know what I mean by the woods. <laughs> because their whole Kelvin is a city that is built in the trees. It's literal tree houses all over the place that are connected by rickety old uh, bridges, wooden bridges that connect each of the different sections. Um, uh, Jay Barbo is the one that that conducted and uh, wrote the music for most of the EverQuest songs, actually, in the original. Um, so that's number 11. It's very simple. 
it's MIDI music. I know some of you are going to go like, oh, why would that be on the list? And it, I admit it's purely sentimental to me. And it's my list. So, you know, <laughs> when I think of EverQuest, that's one of the first songs that pops up other than the one that's during login and character selection. Um, those songs, of course, resonate with me as well because you hear them so much. But uh, then I went to a uh, number 10. Next one up is Black Desert Online and the song Pirate Island. Again, um, it's just, I don't know, there's something about it. When I think Black Desert Online and I think of its music, that it does, it's got several. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of the game, but it has some good music in it. For some odd reason, though, the Pirate Island song uh i just really get into it and i gotta speak in a pirate voice every time i listen to it I... am i a weirdo am i a weirdo of course i am you all know that and it's fine you gotta have fun <laughs> uh so i don't know um i'm sure that solomon would probably say oh there's better songs than that because he actually plays black desert online <laughs> i just dabbled in it i would say i mean i got less than a hundred hours in it probably over the last how many over years it's been since it released but uh another thing is i was a big fan of uh pirate movies growing up all the old black and whites and even sinbad which not really piratey but kind of uh seven seas and all that um all the way up to uh pirates of the caribbean um god bless you johnny depp going through all the stuff you're going through anyway uh, so that was number 10, Black Desert Online, the song uh, Pirate Island. Uh, then we can move on to number nine is a recent game that uh, had so much promise. And maybe it'll come back. Maybe it'll make a comeback. I don't know. Amazon Game Studios, we're still rooting for you. Uh, <laughs> but New World and the song that uh, I put on here was Tides of War. Um, still one of my favorites. Again, I I listen to that soundtrack at least once a month still. I don't really play the game anymore, but they did a good job on the music. I felt that it, the music was well placed in the zones that it was, and I thought it was really well done, uh, well orchestrated, and uh, several different themes there that uh, go along with them. Um, I know uh, Rimen Jawadi. Um, I believe that's how you pronounce the last name. Please don't show me not, but I do know Brandon Campbell. Um, at least online, no. Um, I've spoke to him a couple of times um, and, of course, shared my appreciation for that music uh, on a couple of occasions over the last three years or whatever it's been that I've been in contact with them people involved with the game so uh tides of war is just beautifully done and really i think of all the songs on their soundtrack so far that song is new world to me like when i think new world i think of the song tides of war it it is just beautifully done uh, i love it um so the next one would be uh number eight and uh you know, going from one of the newer MMOs to an older MMO that's no longer a no longer scene. MMO, yeah. And I'm very sad about that. And I keep hearing that there's rumblings that someone might dig it out of the dead. I don't know. Yeah, Rogue it, Server. That would be fantastic. Uh, but Wildstar, as you all know, that one of my favorites it's in top fives for me but uh rest in peace for now baby we'll see you again <laughs> uh, but into the unknown um i always mess up jeff's name i'm so sorry jeff i know i've talked to you twice i think <laughs> back when the game was still around um uh, uh but uh, Kurt Knocker, I think, is how Curtain Knocker, I think, is how he's that is pronounced. But 
I'm probably slaughtering it. I am so sorry, Jeff, if you're watching the show. Love you, man. Uh, <laughs> hit me up if you ever want to talk again. Uh, but anyway, Into the Unknown, uh, again, uh, similar to what I was saying about Tides of War with New World, um, Into the Unknown, just it, it, it is Wildstar. It represents Wildstar to me uh, as far as the orchestration of it and everything. It just really kind of encapsulates the whole theme of, even though it's not technically the theme of the game, um, it really just seems to bring it all together and is the musical representation of the game as a whole. And um, again, very sentimental about it. Um, I liked the game. I I don't know what happened. I really don't know. And uh, we've talked about it before. Uh, maybe someday someone will figure out what went wrong and, and uh, we can bring it back and uh, play it again. But that is Wildstar Into the Unknown. Uh, so going on to number seven, uh, we've got Lineage 2. Uh, the song After the Storm. Uh, again, um, I, I I put quite a bit of time into Lineage 2, more than I probably want to admit. Have not played it in years now, uh, but there was a time where my brother-in-law, my sister, I had several family members, cousins that were playing it. I had uh, co-workers that were playing Lineage 2. Um, unfortunately, it kind of started going the way that a lot of games from that territory go and started becoming pay to win and everybody said I'm out um, but it has some great music uh, I I say that I know a lot of you probably have never heard it but uh, after the storm is for sure my favorite from the original soundtrack of lineage 2. Um, but it has a lot of really good songs that, that definitely keep up with it. Um, and I encourage all of you to go check it out. Even if you probably don't want to play it, especially if you're a Westerner. Um, it's very pay to win now. <laughs> and uh, has some other issues as well. But um, Lineage 2, After the Storm, great song. Uh, number six. I know some of you were saying, oh, I know you're going to put Real of Warcraft number one. That's your game. No, actually, it's sitting here at number six. Surprise. <laughs> so, World of Warcraft, the song Invincible. Now, don't get me wrong. Do I own all of the World of Warcraft uh, music that they've put out on disc, on vinyl, on 8-track? Well, they haven't done that yet. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> yes, I do. I own all of it. Of course you do. And I love it. And I listen to them all the time. I listen to them all the time. My favorite is Taverns and Inns, which was a an exclusive that you could only get at BlizzCon. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, this song "Invincible," uh, man, it just gets me. Uh, it, it is definitely number one for me. Um, now it comes from Wrath of Lich King again. My favorite era, I think Ken's favorite era, I think most people's favorite era that played it. Uh, and it just, it's perfect. It is World of Warcraft to me. I hear that song and it's just uh, brings a tear to my eye sometimes. So that tells you it's sitting at number six. So these ones coming on the the, the first half here are going to, uh, going to be awesome. So moving on, number five. Lord of the Rings Online theme for Rohan. Now, do I really need to say anything? Y'all know I love Lord of the Rings. I love the movies. I even remember the the animated movie that came out in the 70s. I like that even though it was kind of wrong and not done correctly, but I still like it. <laughs> they tried. You know, The Hobbit um the live action hobbit movies i don't know they tweaked it a little too much and went a little too far from the books but uh i i love the folklore of lord of the rings um jared tolkien's one of my favorite writers so a theme from rohan can also be heard in the movies uh it can also 
be heard in the uh, MMO. And I don't know. I've always just um, really loved the writers of Rohan and the stories of, of them. Um, and this song, uh, I think, encapsulates um, those people just perfectly. And uh, it was really well done and thus deserving to even go above my my favorite games, World of Warcraft. Uh, it, they even beat them out by one slot. So uh, there you go with that. Now, number four. Again, this is going to probably be obvious. Y'all know I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. So Star Wars, <laughs> The Old Republic, uh, Clash of Destiny... Which again, that's another one. You can hear it on the movies, uh, the prequels. You can hear it also here on the MMO, um, as well as other Star Wars games that it's been on. But uh, the one from the Old Republic MMO, uh, I just love that song. And it gets me pumped up every time I hear it. And I have to, um, I'm not so much getting up and jumping on the couches anymore. So <laughs> Uh, but I definitely pretend like I have a lightsaber and I am, uh, you know, fighting the Sith Lords, as it were, that are invisible around my house. They're like ninjas, man. Um, every time I hear that song, it uh, it just lights me up. You and my kids are like, what are you doing? Oh, he's listening to Clash of Destiny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, it, Ken's laughing because he knows. He knows. Every time he hears it, he's thinking the same thing. He's probably yeah. on top of his desk with his lightsaber. And, uh, I don't know if he does that so much anymore. <laughs> be fun to see. Okay, so uh, number three. We're getting down to the top three here. Guild Wars 2, uh, Fear Not This Night by Azja. Uh, well, it's Azja. Um, Cadric is the one singing it, but... Uh, my word, that's a beautiful song. I really surprised this was not your number one. Okay, to be honest, these top three, I'm going to say this, have even changed this week, but then I just changed it back and was like, no, I'm just going to leave it. I did uh, several times this week, move it to number one. I was imp I mean, I never heard a song <laughs> directly when I was playing the game. I might have heard it, but when you showed it the first time, it was the first one you actually put down as I, you did it. We did it twice. And like really beautiful. Yeah. Again, that's why I'm like, it when you give me the top beautiful. 10 list, I'm like, okay. I, I'm still sitting here going, I should have put that number one. Nah, it's okay. But the number one and number two are pretty awesome. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's how you pick your best one. Yeah. Yeah. It, this is worthy of being in the top three for sure. Um, it is just a beautiful song and the part of the story that it's telling, um, within the world story is just, it is perfect. Um, again, uh, you know, Ken and I were talking earlier about the difference between Final Fantasy XIV and World of Warcraft's music and how it fit, how the, each of them looks at the music that they put into the games. And, you know, there's there's one that's like, okay, this is just for, this is more ambient background, and then there's the Final Fantasy um, kind of take of it that other games do including Guild Wars 2, where that music is meant to be part of the story. It's meant to be part of what's going on and be in the mix. It's not just something in the background. Um, this one, for sure, is meant to have an impact during that part of the story that it's in. And um, it's just beautiful. I, I yep. Without words. Um, so moving on, number two... Uh, is the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, you all know that's one of my top three games, and it's also one of my top three uh, with regard to the songs here. It's fallen in number two for Blood for Honor, or for Blood for Glory for Honor. Um, 
again, this is another one of those songs that is just, it encapsulates, you know, if you were to say, give me a song that's going to make me feel what it's like to play the Elder Scrolls Online for blood, for glory, for honor is that song. There's no other song in that in, in the game on their soundtracks. There are many soundtracks, which I do own, by the way, <laughs> as well. <laughs> um, there's no other song that just encapsulates the feeling of what it's like to play the game. Now, I know some of you have tried the game and you're like, eh, I don't know, it's not Skyrim. Um, and that's fair. That's fair. I get it. But I love the game. I love the stories in the game. Every expansion I've came back for um, and had a wonderful time with. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know where else to go. <laughs> what else I can say? It's it deserves to be on uh, slot number two there. And then number one. Yep, wait a minute. It's the one. Wait, wait. So this is you got it. Wait, well, when you tossed out the eleven song, yes. and then you made it number one, <laughs> I'm sitting there going, "What?" Okay, I mean, it's like, how did you forget this? Yes, I understand. You already made a comment about Final Fantasy, but I'm like, if it's really that great, you gotta use some explaining. Okay. Okay. So go ahead. Here's here's what happened. So we, I, I had made this list minus the, well, honestly, the Black Desert Online song was the one that was not on the list originally. I had made the list and then I had it on a USB uh, thumb drive. I guess that's what they still call them. Anyway, <laughs> I had left it at my parents. And then the next week I accidentally left it there again. And then the next week, so at what I was doing was trying to remember what songs were on there. I did ultimately get that thumb drive back and I was like, oh yeah, oh, okay, these are the ones. And there were a couple of them that actually had like uh, alternate songs that I was like fighting between, okay, which song do I want to use from this game? And I had like multiple songs listed on there um, that I wanted to re-listen to uh, to see which one I wanted to put on there. Because some of them, like Final Fantasy XIV, there's just too many. And I couldn't make up my mind what to use. Now, what ended up happening is I decided that at the end of it, after the 10th one, I was going to surprise people and add Final Fantasy XIV, and I actually had it in my head. I was going to wait and see if anyone said anything and noticed, because I was hoping that someone would notice, and nobody did. Nobody said anything to me about, hey, we're at number seven now and no Final Fantasy. We're at number eight now. We're at number nine. Well, Wait, you just gave us in. I know, but Final there's been mention about Maple Story and RuneScape. But you're right. No one mentioned Final Fantasy. No. And I was like, okay, well, then this is going to be a great surprise. And people are going to go, oh, yeah. And the, the second surprise was, yep, it's at number one. So... <laughs> Ah, yep. uh, y'all are just, I don't know what, what was going on in everybody's heads. Not to notice, not to call me out on it, because absolutely, Final Fantasy XIV has not just this song. Their entire soundtrack is better than any other MMO out there, including Maple Story and RuneScape. Why did you put... Why are people putting RuneScape in? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Maple Story, I get. That has some cool, catchy tunes. Um, I get. I don't know. RuneScape's. It's not very memorable music to me, but <laughs> I can understand. I have friends that love RuneScape. Well, old school RuneScape, not the modern one. Um, yeah, I. It's at number one. It was 
meant to be a surprise. It was meant to be a shocker. Um, after I got my thumb drive back, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Now, this song has changed a couple times because I just can't, man. Um, I will say that Footfalls from Endwalker, uh, the latest expansion, uh, I, I'm fighting back tears right now. It's just a beautiful, beautiful song. <laughs> and the fact that it is played throughout the expansion, but especially during moments that are just so powerful in the story. Um, and again, it's just the way, like I was saying before, like our conversation, Ken, that we had earlier, that the music is not intended to just be in the background. It's not supposed to be just ambient sound floating around with the wind noises and what you know chirping of birds or whatever <laughs> excuse me but that it's meant to be part of the story and it does a great job uh, a fantastic a number one on this list job of telling part of the story um of Endwalker and of the culmination of, of this era that we've been traveling through since A Realm Reborn. Um, it, it's just so beautiful and it's just so well done. Now, I am a huge nerd for uh, Final Fantasy XIV's uh, discography. I will I'll just say it that way, I guess. Um, there are original soundtracks for all the expansions and DLCs and whatnot that we've put out. Um, I do have the vinyl collection set that they put out earlier this year. and uh, Or actually it was last year they put it out, but I didn't get it till earlier this year. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't have the money. But, um, man, I just, I, I don't know. I'm always blown away. Uh, by how they can incorporate so many different styles of music into one song sometimes and make it to where it doesn't sound chaotic or or just off-putting whatsoever. It, it sounds like it was like those forms of genres of music were supposed to be together all along. Um, and, and someone just finally realized that you can put heavy metal and opera and pop and classical Chinese music or something together yeah. and it make it sound beautiful. Um, yeah, so the, it, it, it was a bit of a journey um, and, and things did get moved around. And even right now, I'm like, uh, maybe that one should have been higher or nope. lower because Stick with it. it just music is one of those things that that do that, right? Like one day you you might be in the mood to to listen to classical, you know, Beethoven or Bach or Tchaikovsky or something. And, and the next morning you wake up and you, you want to listen to Simon and Garfunkel or something, you know, it's just like that. Um, but I will say that uh, all of these were worth being on the list. There are, I, I could have done when I originally made the list, I discovered that I almost wanted to ask Ken if I could do a top 20. <laughs> um, in which, by the way, we Mabel's could have, story was but, in the yeah. top 20. <laughs> Mabel's story was on the top 20, by the way, Yoshi. Um, I don't know who else plays in our community, but um, I love music, guys, and I love doing these lists. So if you ever want me to make another list regarding MMOs, let me know, and I will get right to it. And I will remember my thumb drive next time. And there you go, everybody. There's the top 11 MMO songs from your maestro, Sir Jaziel. I want to add one final thing is the fact that, you know, you've heard me say it over and over again, the fact on my stream, as well as the show, my issues I've had with Final Fantasy XIV, the reason why I always had a dislike for some of the music, but I've grown to like it and love it. You know, it is a, an immense privilege to be able to listen to the songs. I went to a concert here in Seattle where they're playing some top songs. I was really greatly impressed. I've also found some songs in the game that I've actually liked more than the other ones, you know? So uh, it is one of the things where Final Fantasy XIV just knocks it out of the park 
for everything about it. You know, Inwalker was the latest expansion that came out. Now they're going to be brand, something brand new. We're now in newfound adventures, but we'll see what happens to the next expansion and the next whole storyline. So, but anyways, if you're watching this video, I will make a special VOD for this one. Uh, let us know what you think of the top 10 or 11 songs are. Would agree to disagree? Clearly, some people think RuneScape and or Maple Story, or maybe some other ones too. After all, there are a lot of MMOs out there that we haven't even talked about, whether it's some old school, uh, well, we had EverQuest, but EQ2 or Dark Age of Camelot, Rift, you know, I mean, there's just, even like we mentioned with Defiance earlier, uh, I don't know, so many of them, right? Even to current ones that we still yeah. haven't talked about. I mean, I even thought about adding Anarchy Online and, and uh, Eve. Uh, Eve, Eve's yep. a little weird though, because it's it's it is more ambient stuff. All right, next up. Good though. Check out the further adventures of Kenneth Thun by liking and subscribing and watching me live on Twitch.tv/slash Kenneth